Hello, everybody. We're talking soba noodles. Do you know what those are? David Becker is here, chef and co owner of Firefly here in Manchester on Concord Street. Uh, I didn't know what a soba noodle was. Can you talk a me through it? A soba noodle is a uh, Japanese buckwheat noodle, um, and they're always served cold. In this case, I'm making a soba noodle salad where I'm dressing it with um, a sesame soy dressing and I'm putting in a lot of nice uh, crisp vegetables for crunch, mm. and I'll be garnishing it with some peanuts. It's a real classic presentation. It looks maybe not too hard, too, but maybe nope. it's because you have everything chopped up in little. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's ready to go. Is this Napa cabbage? This is uh, Napa cabbage. Yep. Okay, so take us through it. So you want to start by making a dressing, uh, and the dressing consists of a little bit of honey for sweetness. It is, um, actually, the honey is only a touch because the soba salad shouldn't be 100% sweet. It should actually have more of a salty flavor profile, and that's where this comes into play. A little miso paste, which is a soy paste. And that's extremely salty, so you want to go sparingly with that. Then we got a little ginger puree. Again, like a lot of ginger puree. Correct, <laughs> correct. I love okay. ginger. Uh, this here is just a nice fresh chopped mint. Beautiful. Yep, chopped cilantro. We have some um, black and white sesame seeds. Oh, those are pretty. And then the liquid elements of the dressing yeah. are a little rice wine vinegar. That's a staple in Asian cooking, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Same as soy sauce. Yep. This is a gluten-free soy sauce. We got a little bit of sesame oil. And then this is just a flavor-neutral oil to make it like a vinaigrette. So in this case, it's just a vegetable oil. So what you want to do is you want to mix all that up, and that makes a nice dressing. You can tell it's really dense and really thick. Yeah, it is. Like a paste, almost. Exactly, because you want it to stick to the noodles. Okay. So what we're going to do is just pop that dressing right on top of the noodles. Okay. And then you want to put in your chopped dry ingredients, which include the Napa cabbage, mm. just a little bit of that. Beautiful. This is edamame, which is, um, of course, soybeans. You want the shelled edamame. You don't want to be putting uh, edamame in the shell in there. <laughs> some scallions. This is some cucumber. Cuke, yep. And some carrots. And Chef Becker, you're going to be at an event coming up shortly here that's really grown over the years. Tell us about that. Absolutely, a bit. it's the uh, March of Dimes Signature Chefs Auction. Um, it's the 18th annual one, and it gets bigger and better every year. This year, it's going to be at the uh, Manchester Country Club, which is in Bedford. And um, basically, it's uh, over a dozen restaurants, and you can sample a whole bunch of really good food. And of course, it's for a terrific cause, which is the March of Dimes. Sure, absolutely. And you're actually you're the signature chef this year. I am. So, what role does that put you in? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've been helped to organize it a little bit, and I helped try to recruit a couple of different restaurants. Um, and basically, um, we've been doing this event since the restaurant opened. And it's a great event, and it's a great cause. You're uh, March of Dimes to it. Yeah, is, is March fantastic. Of Dimes, yeah, all about babies, right? Totally. Yep. They're trying to prevent um, premature birth and birth defects, and they're trying to end that entirely globally. Wow, yeah, a laudable cause to be totally. sure. So, are we close on this? Yeah, salad all you got to do at this point is toss it to mix all the ingredients together, and then we're going to garnish it with a little bit of uh, chopped peanuts and some cilantro and some fresh mint. Beautiful. This does seem doable at home. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, most of these ingredients are available in the supermarket. You may have a little bit of trouble finding the miso paste, um, but you can find that at an Asian market. And I actually sometimes I buy some of these things online as well. Good so. advice. Okay, and so this March of Dimes uh, signature, remind me the title of it again? It's the Signature Chef's Auction. Signature Chef's Auction, and it's a week from today. Correct. It's on the 19th. And at the Manchester Country Club. Easy yep. enough to get to a great venue. Absolutely, sure. yep. Chef Becker, thanks so much for joining us. No, thank you. We'll be right back.